So welcome back. In the last video, we have talked about how to create a Spring application in which you can inject an object from outside. And that's called a dependency injection, right? So we have uh, achieved that with the help of application context interface. And we have to mention a Spring.xml file in which you have to define uh, all the beans you require. You have to mention a bean ID and you have to mention a bike. Now the, for, for the further tutorials, we'll, you just have to update this XML. Uh, why we are doing this is because in this video, we'll talk about different type of configuration. See, when you talk about Spring application and when you talk about application context, so this is responsible, this object is responsible to give you those beans. But the problem is you have to configure it somewhere, right? So, so we want vehicle. So we have to we have to configure somewhere that whenever I ask for a vehicle, I have to provide a object of bike. Now this type of configuration is possible in two ways. In fact, in Spring we have three ways. The first way of configuration is using XML. So this is what this is how we do XML based configuration. The second way of doing this is using annotation based configuration. Uh, again, in this video, we'll talk about annotation. And the third way is we, we can use Java configuration. Now, when we talk about Java configuration, we have, it's a very new type of uh, configuration for Spring. Initially, it was XML. Then in the, some version, we have introduced annotation. And in the latest version, we have talk about, we talked, we talked about, uh, uh, we have Java configuration. So in this video, we'll see how to do annotation-based configuration. And to use annotation-based configuration, we have to introduce some lines here. So we have to introduce this two, this three lines, so this one, and there's two lines. Again, you can get this from Google. So just go to Google and search for uh, how to do annotation configuration XML on Google. So you will get this, this line there. Now, uh, or you can just copy, you can just uh, write this file. Now, what we'll do is, uh, We'll try to configure this with the help of annotation. So some changes here. First, I will not say I want a vehicle. I will say I want a car. Okay, simple. I want a car. Now the next thing is why I have to configure it here. I will just comment this part. Okay, let's see what happens if I comment. So if I run this, it says no such bean definition exception. Okay, so no bean named car. Okay, so it's, it's not able to find a bean. What we can do is, we can specify here itself, we can specify here itself, in this car itself, we can say at component. Now, we can say this car is a component. So whenever you want to achieve annotation based configuration, just go to this car class and say add component. Now to use add component, we have to say control space, it will give, yeah, so it's a, stereotype annotation and it is add component. Now whenever you use annotation based configuration, we don't have to mention that inside a XML file. Simple. We can simply say the component. So this component is same like writing this line in XML. But hold on. Uh, in XML we mention the vehicle name, right? So we have to mention an ID which is vehicle. We are not mentioning anything here. So what will be the default name for this car? And yes, the default name for this car will be, will be car. So that name will be non-qualified and decapitalized, which simply means we don't have to use a package name. We can directly use a class name because in general, the class name for this is com.navin.telesco.car. So we have to remove all those packages. We just have to take a car. So you can see we have, we're getting a suggestion here. So we have to just have to say car. But it, it should be decapitalized, so we don't have to use the first C as capital, we have to make it small. So the default name for this bean is this car, C-A-R. And now if you run this, and boom, we are again getting an error, it says no bin named car. It's because whenever you try to run this application, every time it will go to this file and it says, okay, we, we are not getting any bin definition here. But you will say, we have here, right, in this car class, we are defining component. But the problem is, you know that you have, you have written component. Your Spring Framework doesn't know that you have written the component. Now, to let your Spring Framework know that you are using uh, the annotation-based configuration, we have to use uh, a line here, 
which says context is configured with annotation configuration and your okay not this one not this line sorry we have to use uh, context component scan and you have to mention the base package you have to mention com dot uh, is it Navin no it's, yeah, it's Navin so com dot Navin dot telesco dot yeah we have to just mention the package name and now let's run this so if you now if you run this you're getting chaldra hai simple now what if I write bike and run and of course for bike you'll be getting the error it's because in the bike class we have not mentioned at component so we have to mention at component here simple and now if you run this it says bhagrai simple so this is how we have to we have to write annotation based configuration so in the further tutorials we'll be working on both so we'll be saying something with uh, XML based configuration, then we'll see annotation based configuration. But for the advanced tutorials, we'll talk only about annotation based configuration because that is what highly used. So I hope this video has cleared some clears. It has cleared the concept of annotation configuration, maybe a bit. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.